far away from it. Um, so he leaped to a distance of 8.69 meters to break a 22-year-old national record. That was 862. And of course, um, was the world champion at the uh, 2019 just concluded World Athletics Championship in Doha. He's Jamaica's newest world champion. He's to Jay Gale, um, and I think I'm right to say the first male to win a gold medal in the field events at the uh, World Championship. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Um, you went to Papine High. Yeah. When did you think about doing track and field? Was it even before high school? I started track and field at seventh grade, but it was harder than I thought. So really, I was training and stop training and stop. In what discipline at the time? Were you doing the long jump from then? And not the sprints. The sprints? Yes, I started long jump after sports day. Yeah, I did the long jump at sports day, and Coach Osborne saw me and started training me for jumps. I jumped. Oh, and was in jump. seventh grade as well? No, in tenth grade. And so you were doing sprints up until grade ten. Yeah. And then did you just decide, you know, I don't want to do this. Let oh, me no. try this. I, I was like jumping, you know, from as I said, my mother said, uh, I was <laughs> I was a jumper, <laughs> in the house. jumping all over the place, yeah. So I wonder why you didn't start earlier then? Why the sprints in grade seven and not the jumps? And I was young, I, was, I never just, never. Yeah, yeah. At the time, you wouldn't have known. Um, is it a difficult discipline? Yeah. Of course, because yeah, you need the training to stay with um, the technical part of the thing because, you know, it's more technical than anything. The low speed helps a lot, mm -hmm. but you have to get the technique right also. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you stop the sprints, but really and truly when you look at long jump, it's a combination of speed and, as you said, technique and you have to can fly. Yeah, well, Coach Francis said that he's going to the sprints this year. So if Coach Francis says you will start sprinting, I guess next year you will... Um, do that. But when did you think you had quality that maybe I could have win at champs or something? When did you think, say, you know, I'm kind of good at this? When did you think so? I honestly never thought about that. I just went to the flow, really. And it's, everything starts to escalate from there, going mm -hmm. up and up. So, yeah. yeah. I, I hear the athletes say every time they win a race, they say, well, I just follow the coach's instructions. Yeah. So, in long jump, I suspect it's the same thing. You just follow the coach's instructions. Yeah. That jump that made you um, the world champion, what did you do differently uh, on that one? Why that one was so good? You almost got it perfectly, right? Uh, during the long jump, like first, second jumps, mm -hmm. I get warmer and warmer each time. Mm -hmm. So I run faster and faster each time. It was the fourth jump, but yeah, the fourth one, fourth attempt. So to reacting to the crowd. Every Jamaican flag I see, I just wave Is to the that crowd. right? Yeah. Oh my God. Did you feel nervous? Nope. So no nerves, no nope. pressure? No. Nope. Just wanted to do well for the Jamaicans who you saw. Yeah. Did you wow. know that that jump was it? Yeah. Before you saw the mark, did you know that? <laughs> yeah, man. It's because with the jumps and the crowd, you will know if you jump far or not. Yes. And then I heard the crowd said, so I, I didn't have to look back, so I knew it was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you knew you didn't foul or anything. Yeah. Can you tell, by the way? That, that, because as Sim said, it's, it's very close. So can you tell when you foul? Yeah. It depends. Unless it's a big foul, you can tell. Yeah. But if like a toenail or so, then probably not. A toenail. But you knew that that jump yeah. was it. Yeah. And you knew that would have been the winning jump also? You thought you, would have, you, thought you won when you, did, you made uh, that? Of course. Yeah. 8.69. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, who can beat that? Yes, I stopped jump after that. Yeah. yeah, we were talking about being on the podium. And, and me said, me, that was by along the whole place. Mm -hmm. What was that feeling like? You get the flag, you're up on the podium. Uh, the podium, um, the night before, um, I fall asleep in the, like, the place where they, we sit. Yeah. And someone had to wake me up for the podium. <laughs> yeah, so it's like yeah, well, you never want to go for the medal. <laughs> no, it's... Tired. Yeah. Yeah, mentally and physically. But what was it like? You listening to the national anthem and what kind yeah, of emotion? 
was uh, I was mostly tired, really. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so I say, hey, you're the most unassuming world yeah. champion I've ever met, which but is I brilliant, mean, by the way. Which yeah. is brilliant. Fatigue, so you never feel no great emotion. You never feel like you are yeah, crying. Yeah, I did go from a country. Not cry. I didn't cry. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. me that ball. So nobody laugh at that. I that ball along the place. So <laughs> we'll have to come for me. <laughs> what is it like working with Stephen Francis? And tell us about your coach at Papin as well. Oh, coach, coach Asbury. Yes. She, from seventh grade till now, she has been there for me, like a mother figure. And she looks out for me, everything, and cross me when I do something right. Sorry, right, as tell you me should say, be. <laughs> can do this, we can do that. And Steve Francis, you know, a coach can, you don't have to be a good athlete. He just can look at you and say, okay, this guy can be good in like two years or three. And Steve Francis, um, He's just along that with Coach amazing. Asburn, yeah. yeah they saw that in me and worked with me come straight up. Yeah. So you say you you, you said you honored your Papine coach with your with your victory. Yeah. I guess because she's been there for you for so long. Yeah. Um Nevno says coach say you have to go into sprints. Is that good news for you? Are you excited about that? <laughs> <laughs> the coach might not want so careful. By the way, sprints and stop the long jump or long jump and sprints? You can't stop the long jump. Not no. There's no, no turning back at this point. You know, answer simple though. You're not looking forward to the sprinting thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, never laugh at me all the time, but me know say sprinting thing and the training thing it do easy and it's not fun. And it's the same training. It's not well, it's the same training as the The long jump? Yeah. So is it that you so what the long jump techniques differently? Ah. What's your fastest time in the hundred so far? Ten four something, I'm not sure. Ten four. Yeah. That's not bad. Sounds like That's, you have a... Yeah. Where you can reach? Can I reach 9.5? <laughs> <laughs> Eight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. Well, you're looking forward to it? You want to do this? I mean, I mean, obviously, no. the coach will tell you much. Yeah, you if the coach know. says that, I can do it then. Yeah, but do, would you, if the coach never suggested it, would you have gone to the coach and said, Coach, put him more around oh, 100? No. And sprints is just 100, we're talking about 100 and 200. Or... Oh, no, 200. 200 probably too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Dude, is 52 long at this point, <laughs> somehow. But um, sounds like Tajay has been just given a mandate, yeah. and he has Tajay, to do what he has it's to amazing do. to meet you. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't meet world champions too often. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I was actually working when, when you did it and, um, and won. I had, I think I got the same amount of medals that I said we would get, even though we did lose a couple. And I never had you as a gold. Um, I had you actually come in third, um, the, so that was a surprise for me, but it was an amazing surprise, so mm -hmm. congrats again. Um, you can do it again at the next World Championships, Olympics next year, you can do it again, you think? Yeah. <laughs> you will do it again? Yes, I will. Actually. At the next World Championship? You're going too far now. That's two years from now. Yes. That's, yeah. <laughs> one the next one year at a time. So you're on a break now? You start back when? Next um, month? Yeah, next month. Okay, and what are you doing in your break? Nothing. Good job. <laughs> Best you don't go to gym do. or nothing like that? No. Rest off your body, but you when it starts again, it's full I, speed I ahead. I, again, you're incredibly honest, you yeah. which I like. Yeah. Very, very humble, and I nice. like that. So, congrats again, and, and, and thanks for coming. Thank thanks you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. It is very nice to say the world champion um, from Papin, <clears> and from the uh, uh, MVP, Tajay Gale. Um, Thanks, Tajay. Don't move, Tajay. Can I just do this now, please? Because they might show up for me this morning. I'm what, are you do? what are you doing? I'm showing you something. Everybody, everybody, work with me, please. Make a life da -da 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 Turn it on up, Tom. Thank you very much. Uh, can you just keep up this? Thank you. I'd oh, my God. What did you guys do? And can you just leave you that there <laughs> till, till 8.30? <laughs> yeah. You know, why is so idle? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Whose face is that on? What do you need? Can you know side is side by side it now with please side by side this now with Neville's picture on a surfer's body. Why? <laughs> I actually did not realize that was not Beyonce actually. <laughs> it's true. So <laughs> All right, we're going to go sure for a You sure that's not my body and her here? <laughs>
We're gonna go for a break. We're so cold. We're gonna eigen. We're So eigen. So come back. We're so cold. Miss him, sir. Fun.